Hey guys, I just wanted to make this quick video regarding um, being smart with firearm purchases. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is trade uh, the gear that you see on the table in for an aim point at my local gun store. And I want to do a dress and a theory um, that is pretty much well known, um, but for, you know, new firearm owners or um, preppers, uh, I wanted to make this video. Now, owning a hundred firearms um, does not mean that you are prepared for without rule of law or um, SHTF type situation. Okay, it doesn't. What you want is to be well trained and efficient with one primary, one sidearm, and you know gear um, that you can rely on to go with um, that type of um, self-defense. And having a hundred firearms isn't going to get you anywhere. So <laughs> what we have here is a a high point nine millimeter that I bought when I was like eighteen or nineteen, and I probably haven't shot since then. Okay, what we have here is a Keltec PF9 that um, is very comfortable to carry. However, I don't trust it. Uh, I don't trust my life with it. Meaning, there was a break-in period where I did have multiple malfunctions. Um, since then, it seemed to be running pretty good, but it's just the possibility of malfunction that um, I, I just don't carry it. Uh, for CCW. I just don't trust my life with it. I have a Springfield Armory XD9 and that firearm has never once uh, had a malfunction and that's the firearm that I carry uh, every day. So uh, having this firearm is really senseless. I mean I'm not gonna go grab it you know if the shit hits the fan I'm not this I'm not gonna go oh my god where's my Keltec PF9. No I'm probably gonna grab my Beretta M9. So this is not a necessity uh, to have and neither is this. Neither one of these guns are a primary sidearm for me. And what we have here is a Sig Sauer um, CP, uh, CP1 red dot um, optic uh, uh, scope. And you know it's not a bad scope. It's pretty nice quality. Um, <clears throat> is it the best out there? Absolutely not. And um, I actually purchased one of these, and the the knob was not as positive um, as this one, and it failed. I went to trade it in for something better. They really didn't have anything, so they just gave me a new one. This uh, tactile knob is much more positive, um, and it is better. They told me it was just like a... Um, default a fault in in the manufacture of that particular unit and it wasn't common and I have had no problems with this guy so you know I believe them but is this the most you know optimal uh, the ideal optic no so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the high point which was like 150 bucks and then you got um, a few extra magazines, so like 20 a piece. You got about 200 in that. Um, you got the Keltec, which was 270, um, and an extra magazine, a Hogue rubber grip, and the Keltec um, belt clip. Um, so you got about 300 in that, and this was 189.99. So you got about 200 there. So we got about 700 dollars here of stuff that is not either ideal or it's not something I'm going to go to or use every day. So basically the stuff, you know, these, these two firearms are just sitting around the house wasting space and this isn't my ideal um, optic. So, you know, the, the idea of this video is that you want to have, if you have a hundred firearms you know that doesn't mean you're ready. You want to have one primary and one, um, you know, uh, go-to sidearm. So 
if you have extra stuff that you can turn into something, um, you know, more efficient, more higher quality, more reliable, um, you want to do that. You want to be smart with your firearm purchases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this $700 value. It's all used, so I might probably only get like 500 or less, but I'm going to trade it in for an aim point um, to have an ideal optic because I'm not going to go to these sidearms. Uh, you know, I'm going to go to my rifle, uh, my AR, and I want a, um, you know, a good reliable optic on it. So I'm going to get an aim point. And, you know, just the, the idea of having a hundred firearms when you, you know, that you're not going to use, you're only going to use one rifle, one sidearm, it may be a shotgun. So the idea of having a ton of firearms laying around your house is kind of uh, inefficient, you know, it's, it's not, you know, going to benefit you. You want to have, you want to be f well trained and um, efficient with, a f you know, a couple of weapons, you know, the number of firearms is pretty much meaningless. So this is just, uh, just a quick video to let you guys know, you know, to rethink things. If you have a hundred firearms, maybe you can turn those hundred firearms into something a more uh, squared away efficient, um, uh, you know, kit. Uh, so I just want to make this quick video, and um, when I get back from the the uh, gun shop, I'll show you guys the aim point I got, and um, I know that I'm going to get much more use out of the aim point than any of these items here. Alright guys, take care. Bye.